Hi, my name is Rosalie Corona with Razzle Dazzle and Sparkle and today I have another video for you today. And today's topic is going to be about Facebook live parties. Um, I know that with people who are trying to think about joining um, the paparazzi team, first thing that they're thinking is that they are afraid to go on Facebook Live. And let's face it, we all are. I am too. Or I was afraid <laughs> of going on Facebook Live. Um, but as we all know, Facebook Live is kind of like essential to um, the direct sales business, right? It's the popular way to sell the jewelry. And why? It's because it showcases you as the consultant. Um, it shows how excited you are about the jewelry. It shows that you love the product and people want to get to know you. If you're just posting pictures um, every single day and they don't know who Rosalie Corona is and I'm just posting pictures, um, they're not going to feel that connection, but when you go live You're able to connect with these people your customers and they end up being your loyal customers because Let's face it women love connection. They like to feel like they can talk to another person um, And that's that's just how it is right um, and then of course Lives actually show the jewelry much better than they do um, pictures. Um, sometimes the stock photos don't do it justice and it's so, so much prettier on live, especially when you have the perfect lighting and hey, that, that lighting just catches all that glimmer, that gleam, and they can actually see it more. So don't let your fears kind of hold you back from your business. I have been in the direct sales company for almost a year. And I will tell you that if you know the kind of person I am um, personally, I am actually a very quiet, very shy person. I am not the person that will strike a conversation with anybody. Um, I'm normally the kind of person that will wait for somebody to talk to me first. That's the kind of person I am. So um, just knowing that and knowing that I started the direct sales company almost a year ago, um, it's totally, I guess, you can see the difference um, as far as how I was when I started and how I am now and yes it's gonna be scary the first couple times I think it almost took me about and I did like a live once a week I probably took about a good two months to actually go without having to feel sick <laughs> right before my live um, and the more you do it, the more you get used to it and it becomes second nature. And then after that, you're like fine and you're like, let's go live, let's go live, right? <laughs> I promise you, the more you do it, the more you're gonna get used to it. So, some of the things that you need to know before you go on live is, um, you want to make sure that you have an iPhone or an iPad, right? And you're gonna open that app um, your Facebook app. You're going to go into the page or the group that you want to go and live in. Some people go in their, uh, their timeline, their personal timeline. Some people go on their business page. And then there's some people who just stay within their VIP group. Um, so you're going to go into the group and then you're going to look at um, where it says post. Um, like as if you're gonna write a post, there's actually um, a little live button there or it says go live or live. Um, so you're gonna click on that. Then a um, kind of like a drop box comes down and it is your description box. It is 
the box that you're going to kind of like lure people into wanting to watch you and um, of course you want to also put um, how to claim things on your live um, any information as far as probably shipping um, like as far as shipping costs and all that um, you want to put that in there um, and then you want to make sure that once you hit that red button that says go live you want to be able to um, show enthusiasm, right? You want people to feed off your excitement. You want to make sure that whatever you're presenting, whatever you're showing, that you love this product, you're excited about this business venture, and um, you want people to, you know, feel that and get that. Next is appearance. Uh, make sure that your background is neat, clean, it's uh, inviting, it's not messy or distracting. Um, because sometimes if people are watching you, sometimes they're actually looking at your background. Um, I know that I do, <laughs> and I'm looking, and you don't want people to think that um, you're disorganized or anything like that. And then make sure you have good lighting. Um, sometimes, and I'm guilty of this, um, sometimes the light is way too bright and it kind of like um, gives a white cast over some pieces. So before that, you want to test your lighting. Um, if you can, create another group, and this is my tip for you, create another group. I have another group and I call it my test group. My test group is just me and my second account or my husband who's in there. It's a secret, closed, secret group. Nobody can, you know, watch or come in. That's where I practice. That's where um, I kind of see how my graphics look like um, and make sure that it's all centered, etc. That is where also you can also practice or see how your lighting is, right? Before you actually go on live. Um, make sure that you're talking loudly. If you're not, then they can't hear you and um, then that's gonna be a problem. Uh, make sure you have good angle. Uh, maybe use a tripod. Um, that always makes it easier. And just remember that when you're on live, some things do happen. Um, you would not believe how many Things happened during my life that was embarrassing, but you learn how to play it off and just continue with the live. It's okay. Uh, make sure that the jewelry is taken out of the packaging unless you're doing shop the box. Um, take time to look at your setup. Make sure that it looks good, okay? Um, and then your personal appearance. You want to make sure that um, you're, you're looking put together, professional, you're confident, you're comfortable. Make sure you're wearing the pieces um, and showcasing the products that you are using. Um, and then timing. Um, you want to always make sure that you're not late, that you're sticking to the time that you say you're gonna come on live. Um, if you are having a hostess come, you want your hostess to, to be there on time, right? That hostess is important because that is the opportunity for the hostess to um, talk with their friends and family who are shopping and um, getting them hyped up as well, right? So things you want to do before you go on live. So this is kind of like your checklist before the live. You want to make sure you um, determine how many pieces you're going to show. Um, a go good rule of thumb would probably be about 100 pieces to show um, for a Facebook live party. Uh, make sure all your pieces are numbered. I am guilty of that, especially, well, when you're doing uh, shop the box it's fine because you're actually trying to put the numbers on it right because you are totally like unpackaging it and actually showing them right straight out of the box um, make sure you're holding the pieces so that they can actually see the detail um, say the number 
with each piece so that they know what number they can claim with. Um, and just try to showcase the jewelry as much as you can. Um, like every detail, the lighting, the movement, um, because when the lighting hits each piece, it just does something to that jewelry piece, right? Um, you want to keep your Facebook live party about an hour to an hour and a half. I've seen some people go longer than that, and that's totally up to you guys. Um, it does kind of get a little bit harder for people to watch the replay when it is that long. They kind of just don't even bother because it's way, way too long for them to actually go through and then see that a lot of the pieces have been claimed and it's just not worth watching all the way, you know, two, three hours of their time, right? Um, so yeah. Make sure that your customers are commenting sold or whatever the claim word may be with the number that is attached with that piece. Um, and make sure that they're giving you their email because um, that's the only way you're going to be able to invoice them is through their email. So you're going to want that as well. Other than that, I do have another video that um, gives you helpful items as far as what you would probably need for your business and most of them is probably to go on live but I think it, they're all essential pieces so check out my other video it is um, probably the video right before this one go ahead and watch it let me know what you think on your comments and I hope that this video has been helpful until then I will talk to you guys later bye